Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. If you are new, please subscribe. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my supporters. Much appreciated. Uh, yesterday, I put up a video uh, about my Tesla Model 3. Drove it for close to 78,000 miles. And I covered the three main uh, experiences, the charging, long trips, and the technologies, mainly the autopilot. Today I wanna to talk to you about uh, the, um, not the fit and finish per se, but the 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 way it, this car is made and how it, it's holding on. So after driving so many cars in my life, <coughs> the Tesla Model 3 is built very, very well, I have to say. It's built very well. I know there are a lot of fit and finish issues over the years and, you know, it will get better eventually, I, I, I assume. But um, I don't think it is so much different than other cars that I had before. Um, these things don't necessarily bother me or catch my eye too much. What I care about is the car sturdy, is the car strong, is the car holding on after driving almost 80,000 miles. And the answer is yes, but there's a but there. Uh, it does, it's not a, a stronger or less susceptible to the elements of nature than other cars in this size, in this manner, this small sedan, uh, you know, and all that, it's not. So uh, I have a lot of rattles and squeaks uh, uh, and all kinds of, um, I broke a, a front left arm under the wheel, under the, the tire, hitting potholes uh, in New Jersey. It's famous for, we are famous for our potholes. Uh, and in other words, it's not uh, more. It's not going to withstand it more than any other any other car. So the issues that you would have with other cars, with other cars uh, uh, driving this many many miles, is not going to be so different. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because it's an electric car, pure electric car, and because there is no gasoline engine and then no, all these components. Owning this car, owning this car for all these miles uh, and, and all these trips and all this wear and tear is by far, by far more advantageous than, than owning a gasoline car. At this point, with a gasoline car, I would have shelled thousands of dollars probably in maintenance cost and all that. Here, you know, you will change your, uh, your uh, tires uh, regularly and all that. But that's about it. That's about it. Owning cars like I did in the past, at this point, I already changed the carburetor, I would change the radiator, and all kinds of moving parts that make gasoline cars what they are. Not here, not here. Except for the tires. You know, I broke a, I broke a window once, a pebble hit my, that can happen in any car. Tesla is not immune. I mean, there's no immunity for that. But other than that, it is, now that I drove it so many miles, it is incredibly, incredibly more long-term investment than uh, a regular uh, gasoline car. Now, an issue that you have in any, almost any gasoline car, and it's no different than here, is the, uh, the uh, fuel cap, okay? Uh, in a gasoline car, you need to put fuel, so you have to open that uh, cap, the, that little door. Here you have a charge port, and it has a little door. That breaks all the time. And now it broke again. I fixed it a couple of times, that little magnet that doesn't latch, and, and it's always, it always breaks. So that, again, anytime you have a moving part, especially with magnets, <coughs> that is uh, prone to be um, uh, broken. Uh, so that's that's basically issue. Now, what what I can tell you the um, the the conclusion from this is now you see when you own a, 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 an electric car for a long time, eh, that way a year. People some some people trade their cars every year. When you own an electric car over a long time, now it's two it's uh, two years over two years that I have this car. Two years and four months that I have this car. So uh, and, and now you see. When they say you save a lot of money on maintenance, now you see why. Now you do see why. Uh, you will pay here the same amount of money that you pay on a regular car, more or less when it comes to tires. 
you will not have to do brakes, brake pads in this car because of the regenerative braking. So brake, I mean, who doesn't change their brakes every 30, 40,000 miles? Not in electric cars, not in this car for sure. Okay, so you'll see even little things that you get used to doing, you, you would do it. But tires, you'll have to do tires, but that, uh, wiper blades I did once. But that's about it, man, that's it. That's it. So uh, the, if you live in an area that the roads are not good, there's salt and snow and potholes and all that, this car is no better than 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 any any other car. It's not. It's not. It's going to get there. It's going to be beaten up and all that. Some people I know put like air suspensions on Tesla Model Threes. They put they do put air suspension. That can help a lot. But if you drive it the way you bought it. You know, it will be, it will be, uh, 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 you know, it will perform in terms of the sturdiness as any other car. But, but, uh, everything else under the hood is fantastic. The battery, uh, the range, the uh, the way it's holding on, you know, the, the wheels, everything is, 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 I feel like it's a new car. Now, add to that the software updates and the technology and all that and and you are in a different league you are in a different league than, uh, than again. that's why by the way that's also why these cars hold their value very very well they use <laughs> Tesla Model 3 is not cheap so of course it's much cheaper than than a new one but they are they still hold on to their value now if you can leverage them later on for robo taxi who knows when that comes that's that's a game changer but it's still not not there yet of course as you know so uh again owning this car for this 28 mo months almost 80,000 miles on it how's it holding on it's holding on great it's holding on great and uh, i need to worry about whatever touches the, the road which is the the, the the tires and suspensions and and all that but that's no different than any any other car but everything else is so different and it's so worth it and it's so uh you see the the beauty and the vision of owning a, a an electric car put your questions down below let me know what you think thank you guys for watching see you again tomorrow